from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. All American News brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. As usual, Chicago's finest lead the Bud Billiken Parade. Bud Billiken himself, founder of the annual celebration for kids. The wax add the military and the feminine touch to the mammoth parade. This is their day. The march was in honor of the armed services of our country, of its heroes, living and dead. Bud Billiken, as he calls himself, is really David Kellum, editor of the Chicago Defender, and he founded Billiken Day 16 years ago. The kids drum and bugle corps, and the Lilydale Queenette. The Red Cross is represented, and the Boy Scouts, than which there are none finer. Beautiful floats enhance the tremendous parade, including this one depicting Iwo Jima's memorable event, float of the Angel of Mercy, and one for our good neighbors in Hawaii, as well as the Women's Defense Corps display. After the parade, which took hours to move along the South Side Boulevard, there was a picnic in Washington Park. Youngsters and their pets were both welcome. Old and young celebrated. Plenty of attractions and amusements, loads of eats, and everything was free. And Billiken has something for the boys. Talented youngsters perform. But Billiken Day, as usual, was a red letter day in Chicago. First Negro woman to be elected to the Pennsylvania State Legislature is Mrs. Crystal Bird Fawcett. She has been cited for her educational leadership. <laughs> Junius Fletcher of Inspection, Virginia, and the home he built himself. He makes a living by producing works of art from burnt match sticks. Champion Joe Lewis, the match list in matches. And the radio cabinet the hobbyist produced. <laughs> Emancipation Day in Knoxville, Tennessee saw an Elks revelry. The scene is club society, where there gathered notable entertainers and celebrities. Certainly every elk in town turned out, plus lots of visitors from elsewhere in the state. There was loads of fun for old and young. And the jitterbugs flitted around. A great organization, the spirit of good fellowship combined with hot music and an occasion worth celebrating. It all added up to a grand time ad by all. <laughs> Steaming into Manila Bay, slowly the large transport eases her way through the shallow waters scene of Dewey's victory in another war. These are Army Service Forces, the first American field GIs to arrive in the Pacific direct from Europe. <laughs> U.S.
U.S. Army Signal Corps cameras watch them as they move from one phase of the war into another, without furloughs, without pause. Small craft take some of them ashore where a band plays and there's everything done to bolster sagging morale. But who can blame the lads if they feel like sad sacks? Jumping out of one hell into another is no joke. But they line up for roll call, each determined to do another great job. They load on freight trains bound for fighting fronts. The fellows are mighty anxious to get in there and help get it all over in a hurry. Well, thank goodness, it's all over now. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.